Hello friends, I'm Mike, the Hi-Fi fanatic behind Audio Architects. For those who are already subscribed, it's good to see you back for more. If this is your first time here and you're into all things audio like CD players, amps, DACs, speakers, subwoofers, then you're in the right place. It would be best if you stuck around for a bit because I am going to show you step-by-step -step how to rip an SACD into a DSD file using a cheap Blu-ray player you could easily find at your local thrift store. All right, folks, so I stumbled upon a blog post explaining how to rip your SACDs using specific Blu-ray players directly to your PC as DSD files. The original information, however, came from a forum called Hi-Fi Haven, and I will be referencing quite a bit to their thread to complete the project. Don't worry, it's, it's not as hard as it sounds, and it's not gonna be as hard as it seems to be. <laughs> I have compiled all the information re research I did uh, for you, and we'll be providing you with a step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. I will also be providing a link to my blog where I have the list of players as well as written step-by-step -step instructions with the pertinent links. So you totally have the choice of how you want to follow along. Let's get started. Okay, so you're ready to take on this project. What are you going to need? Well. All you will need to complete this is a thumb drive for the script you'll be using with the player. You'll obviously need the appropriate Blu-ray player from the list of players. In my case, I am using a Sony BDP-S5100, which seems to be the most popular among the other folks that have done this and are, in my opinion, one of the most readily available in the thrift stores and online. I found mine for $9.99, as you can see since I totally left the sticker on there for proof. You'll need an HDMI cable to make certain adjustments to the player's settings and some type of screen to see what you're doing. That's really it. Oh, and you will need a remote control since most of these players do not come with one. I found one on Amazon that works great and I will link it below. Connect your player to a monitor or a TV via HDMI. You will use the remote to adjust a few basic settings on the player's on-screen setup menu. Go to the Audio Settings tab and turn the DSD output mode to off. Then go to the BD DVD Viewing Settings tab and set the BD Internet Connection to Do Not Allow. Go to the Music Settings tab and set the Super Audio CD Playback Layer to SACD. Go to the System Settings tab and set the Quick Start Mode to On. Finally, you'll need to go to the Network Settings tab and choose between Wired or Wireless. I chose Wireless since I have blazing fast internet, however, if you can, hardwire it in for a more stable connection. You will need to download the latest version of Java OS for your computer. The ripping program is based on Java and requires a minimum of Java version 8 to function properly. I'm surprised my computer didn't have it already. I will provide a link down below for the download. You will need to download the SACD Extract GUI software. I will also be providing a link for this in the description below. Since I am doing this on an AMD machine, I will be selecting Spoiler AMD Intel. However, there is also an option for the Raspberry Pi. Download the zip file and extract it. I just made a folder on my desktop and stored it there. However, I will probably end up moving it somewhere safer like my program files folder on my main drive. There are a few programs within the folder, however, the only one you'll be clicking on is the SACD Extract GUI file. That's the main user interface for ripping the SACDs. Okay, so you're going to need to format your thumb drive as FAT32 or NTFS with Master Boot Record MBR chosen as the partition scheme. This part is very important to the overall success of the process. I am using Windows 11 and there isn't an option I can see to make a master boot record, so I downloaded a program called Rufus that handled the format perfectly. I will link Rufus down below as well. 
Now that your flash drive is ready to go, navigate to page two of the Hi-Fi Haven thread. The link is below. Midway down the page, there is a reference to an auto script download. You'll need to pick the link that relates to your Blu-ray player manufacturer. In this case, it's Sony for me, and then extract the folder to a safe place on your hard drive. Once again, it made it to my desktop. Create a new folder and name it auto script. After extracting the files to this folder, copy the folder to your flash drive. Don't open the folder or mess with the files inside the folder because it could screw everything up. Okay, now your flash drive should be good to go. At this point, your Blu-ray player needs to have an internet connection. Under network status, it will show you your player's IP address. You're going to type that at the top of the SACD Extract GUI interface where it says server. Where it says 2002, leave it like that. Next to it, you will see a ping and test button. Go ahead and press the ping button and you should see a successful script at the bottom of the interface. Now. The test button didn't work for me until I put the thumb drive into the back of the player. Go ahead and do that now. Don't be alarmed if the tray opens, this is normal and means the script is working. On the interface, I left it on DSF, which is the DSD stereo file type. I'm not doing any type of multi-channel, so stereo works fine for me. Under the output directory option, you are going to choose where you want your music files to be ripped to. I obviously chose my main music file library folder. Make sure your quick start mode on the player is set to on because the ripping takes place while the player is in sleep mode. I forgot to do this my first time and nothing worked right. Okay, so let's just start from the off position on the player. Power on your player. Connect your USB thumb drive to the player and allow auto script to run. The tray opens automatically, then place your SACD in the tray, but do not close it. Power down your player and at this point the tray closes automatically. The player is now in sleep mode and the auto script gains root access to control the player. Execute RIP by pressing run on the SACD extract GUI interface and the SACD will start ripping almost immediately to your computer. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes give or take to complete the process. Go have a cup of coffee or a nice cold beer. You pick your poison because you're all done and that's all she wrote. Thank you all for joining me. I hope that wasn't too hard. If you're already subscribed, thank you. I have an online shop where I sell audio inspired t-shirts, hoodies, and other merchandise to help support the channel. I encourage you to make your way over there, maybe buy some stuff, offer ideas for future designs. That would be really cool. Also make your way over to Facebook and join our exclusive group. Also, my forum on my website is lonely and it needs people to post awesome content, go give it some love. All these links are down below. If uh, you are new to Audio Architects and like it so far, I encourage you to check out some of my other content and videos to see if my channel is the right fit for you and you dig my vibe. I would love for you to hit that thumbs up and end up subscribing and joining me on my journey in hi-fi. Thank you again for spending some time with me and we'll see you soon.